So explain ain't gonna make any difference. Times no, well. are changing, <laughs> but some things stay the same. Yes. You start each morning with a cup of coffee every day. Maybe hit the snooze, turn on the local news, but nothing good comes from a one-sided point of view. That's right, marijuana for dummies. Resisting the miseducation of marijuana, as it were, and it is part of our duty to keep you on the right track. The ongoing controversy as it relates to vapes is a big issue because it now is threatening, you know, the safety of a product. There are these companies, these new startup companies, where all they really did was vapes and vape-related products. So because of the current issues with vape and vape safety, they've gone under. Good efforts. Now, remember, part of the problem has to do with manufacturing, actually a large part. And again, I remind people, it's not just the vape industry. It's every industry in which you are a consumer, food, drink, everything, Tylenol, Everything that you can name damn near has had some kind of a scare as it relates to your health. The vaping industry is no different. This one specifically really on a large part to people who were on their own, on their own, counterfeiting vapes. You can buy the vape manufacturing stuff and put juice or whatever you want in there, molasses, whatever you want to put in there and sell that if you're an unscrewed. But that goes the same for whether you're selling selling anything from cat food to coffee. So we know that. The vape industry continues to have these kinds of problems, and so it's hard for me to really give you an opinion. Know your manufacturer, know your supplier, make sure you're getting things from people again. But that goes for anything from vitamins to uh, anything you're doing. So again, it continues. Today we're going to talk about what marijuana does for me and why I smoke, because a lot of people who've known me for years, a bunch of you have known that I smoke, but I left, I led a very sort of one of those lies that was, you know, one side was where I kept the marijuana use really, really on a very down low, and the other side where people who knew me knew that I was smoking pretty much daily. Now, what does marijuana do for me? Well, I started marijuana smoking marijuana when I was in medical school. Now, without giving you the long, horrible story, I could just say that medical school was one of the more stressful situations for me in my life. And and in my adjustment to that, which affected me pretty much for the rest of my life, both in ways that are negative, but in a lot of ways which I think are good because it gave me the drive and organizational skills to do what I do today. But adjusting to that stressed me the hell out. I had had marijuana previously. I smoked like once or twice in high school, you know, not in high school, but in college, but never had really indulged in marijuana until, on, on a regular basis at all until medical school. And because I had to study every day and had very little time to relax, at the end of the night, at the end of studying, I would smoke a little marijuana before I go bit to bed, and it would do wonders for calming me down. Now, what do I mean by calming me down? I had gotten to the point where I felt anxious all the time, stressed. And I know now that this is a sign of dealing with anxiety. And these are the kind of things for which marijuana is wonderful. That's why it's also wonderful for PTSD and people who have these kinds of stress disorders where you're anxious, angry, or you're, uh, and for example, I always say when you really are having a hard time not punching your significant straight in the face, (laughs) that's what weed is good for that because it's like a gas stove. You, you turn that flame down from high to really low. And for me, I began to appreciate that feeling. 
I began to seek it more and more. Now, I, I recognize that people talk about meditation, yoga, and other things allowing you to achieve that. And I'm a, an endorser of all those things. Uh, for me, I will just say that marijuana was essentially a wonder drug uh, when I was in medical school. It made me able to tolerate the stress of school. It made me able to relax in the brief moments that I had to relax. Uh, it allowed me to have that relaxation. It would calm me. Now, what's so, what's so interesting, and I'm going to get Victor's uh, opinion on some of this, too. And, you know, I didn't tell him I was talking about this. We never discussed those things ahead of time. But uh, I don't get euphoric. So when you want to know how marijuana affects me, I think it's important to ask the people who are around me. As anybody who, with any drug or whatever, you need to ask the people who are around me. Now, I don't get euphoric for Mac McAllister. I don't get the munchies in any form. I tend to smoke marijuana and drink coffee at <laughs> uh, work. Uh, so the question is, what does marijuana do for me? It's that calm. What The reason why I've continued to smoke all these years, and I smoked almost daily. No, I smoke daily. It's not just daily. It's usually multiple times per day. And because of that calming feeling, I'm never euphoric. I've been smoking all morning here with you all, and I'm not euphoric now. I'm never euphoric, but I enjoy the feeling of calm. Yes, there's other ways to get it, but I love the fact that I can smoke marijuana and feel that way, to feel that sense of peace or calm. And that, that sense of peace or calm is what I'm seeking most of the time. Uh, so that's why I smoke weed, and that's why I'm embracing because I have a personality that tends to stress over little things. That's why I tend to be like an obsessive-compulsive person you, you know, they say that that comes out of a desire to control everything, and because you can't control everything, you start obsessing over controlling the things you can. So the marijuana allows those things to calm down too, the obsessive things, the, the, the nagging kinds of things. It allows that. So now the question is, what kind of behavior do you all notice in the people around you when they smoke marijuana? And so, Vic, mm -hmm. since you're my partner in crime, you're around me right? smoking weed. You've been around me for years. Right. And the other fellas, too, going right. to parties. And, Vic, like I said, Vic's been the designated driver since before the term existed <laughs> because he didn't drink. <laughs> when we went out no. to the clubs, he didn't drink. And so Vic was the designated driver. Right. So he's been around me sober right. all these many years while I've been smoking weed, blowing many clouds yes. for a long, long time. Yes, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Look, um, you know, all I can t I have to have it as a comparison to what I'm around. And in environments, mostly you're around when you're socializing. The number one thing that people are indulging, whether it's casually or not, is alcohol. And it's a bridge to comfort or what have you. And I've never had anyone really explain what and why alcohol makes them feel really good or otherwise. So I don't have any feedback off of that. Whereas with you, you're asking me, I, I can literally say, yes, you've done a great job of it calms you because you do have a lot of energy when you're not. But what comes along around that is like you said, it's almost like you're energized to get things done. Not as much as to have control, but you have very little tolerance. And most of the time you're going, you got, you're, you're moving ahead. So sometimes people interact with you at those moments where you're trying to get things done. And then you, you can be, it, they don't understand, they don't understand, this is your normal, <laughs> which I sit there and say, how many people have experienced Mario's normal? Say a month. What are you trying to say, then, Wait a minute, wait a minute. As a month, a month, when's the last time you can pick up and say, I didn't smoke for a whole month? 
and you literally go, oh my God. So the normal, when I've seen you kind of move away, is because you're really trying to achieve things. You, you are, and your energy is this. But the calmness that it brings to you, you you're in a good place with it. You, you tend well, to I did stop for that six months as part of my counseling right. years ago. I, I remember, stopped for six months. And everybody called a 911 fire alarm. And I'll never do it again. I said, this is the last time I stopped smoking weed. <laughs> right. Just to prove to you all I can <laughs> stop smoking weed. Right. It okay, was. did I prove it? Okay, now I'm going back to smoking weed. Y'all can kiss my ass. <laughs> right, right. Look, okay, that's the way I did it. Here's the good part. Everybody needs some it's, it's, it's something as a getaway. That's what I learned. And to me, most of the time, people can say, you know, you're a very cool, calm, relaxed guy. Everything's chill. Nobody says that. Oh, oh, no, me. no, 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 no. No, when I say this, yeah. take away that you're trying to get people to better themselves. That's when they find out about you when you go, you can do better. <laughs> so, Vic, let me ask you this then. Right. After that, because you, you gave a wonderful, right. a long discussion. Yeah. So which one is better then to interact with? Oh, the coming. Mario smoking, smoking weed or the Mario close. not smoking, smoking weed? Smoking. See, see, <laughs> that's kind of just, see, I remember I had my, one of my exes used to go, we, I'd be doing something, talking to her. She would look at me and finally go like, where's your weed? <laughs> Which, nah, no, no, no. Where is your weed? There you go. Where is his? Smoke some give weed. Don't even talk to me no more. Give him something. Give him something. Let him smoke this weed. <laughs> right. Then we'll talk. So, Vic, you're trying to say. Right. And I want to put you on record. Yes. That you're trying to say that the Mario Hemsley smoking weed is better than the Mario Hemsley not smoking weed. The day, yes. The day that you sit there and go like this, you'll notice a difference when you go, <laughs> I'm... Dude, I'm just chill. I haven't smoked any weed. I don't need it for the next week or two. I I'm need good. my weed. <laughs> right. You, it, ain't, it ain't happening, y'all. That's okay. You know, people have this with alcohol, too, you know. No, but weed and alcohol are so different. Yes, I'm so, they are. And I get so, you know, because oh. I deal with some alcohol oh, drinking. Oh, it's not close. And I tell them, hey, you smoke your weed. I said, no. <laughs> you, a person who smokes weed like I do and an alcoholic like you are, are way different. Okay? All right? And then again, they can't stop drinking. I stopped smoking just to prove I could. Right. Now I'm done with all that mess. Yes. Once again, a shout out this week, you guys, to the Lowell Cafe, our gourmet food uh, offering in North Hollywood. Take a look at the w it's www.lowellcafe, L-O-W-E-L-L-C-A-F-E dot com. Go there. The gourmet food, not marijuana infused food, but good gourmet food that you can enjoy marijuana, their own strains that they grow. And they will suggest the marijuana for you to go with the food. Is, is Mike Tyson endorsing it? No, that's for, for next week, you guys. <laughs> next week I'm going to talk a little bit more once I get a little bit more information about Mike Tyson's planned right. marijuana ranch. <laughs> He's got it going on. Yay. I feel you. Times are changing, but some things stay the same. Start each morning with a cup of coffee every 